Hey everybody, welcome back to the Jay Walker. Today, I am at City View Mausoleum and Mortuary. Uh, it's up in Salt Lake, north across the street from Salt Lake City Cemetery. Um, today, I'm in front of this gorgeous stained glass window right by a, uh, an interment that I want to talk to you about today. And it was one that kind of been kind of a little funny story, at least in my own mind, um, since I first uh, first started walking through here. Now, just a little history, personal history with it. I mean, this the mausoleum itself has been here. Uh, I believe they built in probably in the 1920s or so. Um, I know that there's uh, you know interments here from the 40s and such. It's very cool building, like old Tuscan style um, architecture. Um, I've known about it. I've been in Utah for 20 years, been uh, here in the Salt Lake area for uh, about 14 or 15, and it was a place that I kind of fell in love with uh, the first time I drove by. Um, it wasn't until about four years ago that I uh, first did my yeah, I did my first walk through here as I started getting into, you know, a little paranormal investigating and, and such on my own. One of the, one of the interments really caught my eye. And this is the interment here. King Pin of Barmere, July 19th, 1945, July 24th, 1957. So I'm... I'm an Idaho guy. I grew up in Idaho, but I have Utah roots. Uh, my my family, my parents grew up in uh, in Davis County, just bedroom communities, just north of Salt Lake City. And I mean, I you know, when I as I saw this in Turman, I was like, how in the heck, you know, how did I not know that there was you know some visiting boy king, some visiting royal or something that that died and was, and was interred here. And it bugged me for years, and every time that I would walk through, I'd be reminded, oh, hey, I need to take a look at this, and I would try and search out online, and man, I, I probably, I tried to wear out Google trying to figure this out. And so, as I tried to figure out, nothing. Look it up, every time, nothing, 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 nothing. So finally, I did, I guess, kind of the unmanly thing, and I asked on one of the occasions that I was, that I had come, uh, come through to walk through and hang out here at the mausoleum, I asked one of the employees, hey, can you help me out with this interment? You know, I want to, I want to know I've done all the digging that I can, and I can't figure it out, and, um, you know, told her which one, and she, uh, she kind of laughed at me, and I'm like, what? What is it? And she's like, oh, because um, she's like, well, it kind of bothered me. And, you know, I looked it up. Turns out Kingpin of Barmere was a dog. Now, this that is some serious love for your pet. And I'm, you know, not one to mock or not one to, you know, get after anyone for having, you know, a pet as part of the family because, you know, we feel the same way. But that's some serious love to spend, to spend probably quite a bit of money, even back in the 50s, to have your dog interred at this beautiful human mausoleum. Thanks for joining me. Uh, if you like it, like the video, subscribe. Join me again on the Jaywalk soon. We'll see you.